one here is also from D.C. Please give it up for T. Rex. Give it up for T. Rex, y'all. Come on, T. What's happening? Uh, nice response. I know what it is. Y'all still trying to figure out what the fuck I am. I'm half black and half white, ladies. I am black from the waist down. White from the wallet up. <laughs> Means I have a big dick and good credit. I'm rare. I will bone the shit out of you and co-sign alone. Give me the motherfucking papers. They're gonna put me in a museum when I die. I'm gonna be in a glass case with my dick out and my wallet in my hand. He's amazing. He has gold cards and magnums. Those who aren't laughing don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I live out in the West Coast, I'm from DC. Every time I come to the East Coast, my grandparents try to get me to fucking stay with them, but I can't stand them. Every time I see them, they, you getting so big? How you get so tall? What they feeding you out there? I ain't getting bigger, you're just fucking shrinking. You look like two question marks walking around the house. <laughs> How the fuck you both hunch back? How the fuck did that happen? My grandma let it go to the point where her back is higher than her head. You ain't supposed to be able to see your back in your driver's license picture. She came in the house one day, her wig was on her back. I thought a nigga was sneaking in the house. But who that big head motherfucker coming in the house behind you? Oh shit, put your fucking wig on your head. You scared the shit out of me. I thought a nigga was trying to come up in the motherfucking house. My grandma got mad at me recently. I took my cousin to get him drunk for his 21st birthday. That's what you do when you turn 21. You go get drunk, right? So I my grandmother left me a voicemail. You need to grow the hell up, taking Jared out and getting him drunk on his birthday. What the hell is wrong with you? You need to call me back. You a comedian, but everything ain't fucking funny. Call me back. <laughs> this grandma. You don't have to say your fucking name after every message. If I don't catch your voice, it's the signature hang up. She's like 87 and hasn't learned how to hang a fucking phone up yet. Every voicemail is like 20 seconds of her talking to 45 seconds. All right, call me back. You can hear him mumbling, what the hell going on? <laughs> so I call my grandma back, I'm like, why are you fuck with me? Because you took Jared out and got him drunk for his 21st birthday. And I was like, that's what you do, that's a legal drinking age, 21. I know that, but he's mentally retarded. That don't mean nothing to you. And my cousin is retarded, but I figure, fuck it, you've been retarded for 21 years, you deserve a drink. <laughs> Some niggas drink after a bad day at the job. This nigga's been retarded for 21 years. Here's to you, corky, drink up. And it wasn't my intention to take him out and get him drunk, but he talked me into it. I was getting dressed. I was going to a club called Dream down in D.C. There's fucking a million fine women in that motherfucker. And that's not the place to take a retarded motherfucker. He saw me getting dressed like, where are you going tonight? Ah! Where are you going tonight? Ah! And I was like, I'm, go I'm going down to Dream, man. I'm going to Dream. I want to go with you. It's my birthday. Ah! And I'm thinking about this motherfucker being found around a million fine women. I'm like, uh, we're gonna celebrate on Sunday with the family at the park. Wide open space, you can scream all you want. <laughs> Fuck that, I wanna get drunk, <laughs> And that's what talked me into it. I started thinking, damn, have I ever seen a retarded motherfucker drunk before? I don't want this opportunity is gonna present itself again. I said, Fuck it, put on your good shoe, we're going out. <laughs> this motherfucker put on that big ass high top steel belted fucking shoe and his Kenneth Cole. We get down to the club, the line is down the block, but he's retarded, he don't know about standing in line. This nigga just starts pushing his way through the crowd. Coming through, pardon me, coming through. He's pushing thugs. I'm thinking he's about to get his ass whooped. Thugs realize he's retarded, they're giving him respect. They're like, oh shit, oh go ahead, get your party on, retarded dude. He's like, all right, all right. He got to the front of the line. They didn't even ask him to show ID. He didn't pay. They just opened his ropes and let his retarded ass up in the fucking club. I was right behind him. Coming through, coming through. <laughs> Fuck if I'm gonna pay, goddammit. <laughs> it fucking works. <laughs> no one wants to fucking be an asshole and refuse a retarded dude at the fucking club, you know? Try it. Next time you go to a fucking club, just act retarded. Sir, you're gonna have to go to the back of the line and wait like everybody else. Ah! 
Um, it's gonna be twenty dollars to get. Ah! You know what? Just get the fuck in there. Have a good time, dude. <laughs> I took a girl to the same fucking club. She was like, "Damn, we gotta stand this long ass line." And I was like, "Nah, I got the hook up. Follow me." Ah! She was right behind me in the high heels and the gown, talking about. Ah! Ah! Yo, I'm T-Rex. Y'all been fucking fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs>